Hey, what's up guys? I'm going to be showing you how to get Sense 5 with Android 4.2.2 on your HTC Droid DNA. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you're going to need to do is actually go ahead and download the ROM, which I will have a link below to the XDA thread so you guys can go ahead and do that. The second thing, if you guys followed my Moonshine S off video, which I will also link below, that will install Super SU for you. What you want to do with Super SU is that gives you um, system level access. And what you can do with that is actually open up Goo Manager, and if you hit the menu button, you can go ahead and install the Open Script Recovery, or Twerp for short. And what this is, is this is a custom recovery that this will actually allow you to install the custom ROM that we're about to install. So once you do go ahead and do all that, just reboot your device into your recovery. You can go ahead and do it any way you want to. I'm just going to go ahead and go back to Goo Manager, and we're going to hit the Reboot Recovery option. So what this is going to go ahead and do is this is going to boot us into recovery. Like I said, you just need to have Moonshine S off. I will have a link below. All you have to do is open it up. Make sure you have the drivers installed. And make sure you, you, like you allow it through your firewall and antivirus and stuff like that. And then you just go ahead and type yes and it runs. And it does everything for you, so it's pretty simple. We're going to go ahead and hit install. We're going to go to advanced wipe. We're going to hit Dalvik cache, cache data. Do not hit internal storage or you will lose all of your pictures, your music, stuff like that. Now, if you wipe the system that is just, you know, that I was running already, which was Sense 5, you will not wipe the internal storage. So it only takes a few seconds or so. We're going to go ahead and hit the home button. We're going to go to install. What you're going to do is find the zip that you just downloaded, which is the NOS Multi Verizon. I'm going to go ahead and swipe to install. And what this is, is this this is an aroma installer. Because Nuke said he has included a few new tweaks and stuff like that that you guys can choose if you want them or not. But this is an update. It's supposed to have almost everything working. So I just figured I would let you guys know about that. We're going to go ahead and agree to the terms. And okay. So we can do the default Sense 5 or we can do custom themes. I think that's a red theme. I hope so because I love red. Um, we you don't have to because we already did wipe, but let's just go ahead and hit perform a full wipe. This is the Verizon Droid DNA. Hit next. So please select the apps that you want to remove. Um, I kind of like the HTC Live wallpapers because I like the weather. Let's see. I do not use PDF Viewer. Do not use Sound Recorder, Stocks, Task, Task Manager. Um, do don't use that. I use that on my HTC One though. Watch weather. Sure. I kind of like the shortcut widget. So we're going to go ahead and hit next. Please select the Google apps you want to remove. So we don't really need that. Do you want Gmail? Don't need, don't need. Don't. I'm going to go ahead and install that. And there we go. So that looks pretty good. Hit next. And then please select the apps that you want to remove. So you can remove a lot. I have a backup of that. I have a backup of that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and install Facebook. Let's see. Facelot, Kid Mode. Don't want that. Sim Toolkit, Twitter. Talk back. Um, sure. Let's go ahead and hit next. Please select the plugins you want. Good God. Um, I don't know what any of this is. I don't really use the plugins for um uh the blink feed thing on the side over there. So let's go. Let's go ahead and hit next. Please select your desired. This is your keyboard. I don't. I'm, I'm not saying English. Is English already checked? So I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and assume the English is already checked. So I'm just going to hit next. So please select your desired boot animation. I kind of like the Verizon one with like the boot, like the Verizon logo kind of comes up. And it's just something different. I can always go ahead and change it if I really want to. So you can remove the share bar, smaller. So I'm just going to do smaller. And we're going to go ahead and hit next. Weather mods. Please select the preferred weather mod. Sense 5. Sense 4, I, I really do like these Sense 4 ones. Percentage battery, go ahead and sure. I like the blue, the blue looks nice. Please select your desired messaging mod. Um, I don't really use visual voicemail. MMS screen on, I don't like the screen on. So I'm just going to do stock. Hit next, please select your desired modifications. Good God, so much. Um, I don't even know what... The exchange security mod is then it was software it was beside recents um, I don't really no I, I kind of like the stock so I don't really I kind of like that actually 
Uh, let's see, install super cam. I don't know what that is, but we'll go ahead and figure it out. So, camera. S volume up to snap photo, volume down to focus, volume up to snap photo. So if you're holding your phone like this, this is volume up. So I want the volume up to snap a photo. DNA camera with Hypota settings, you will lose Zoe. I don't use Zoe. So let's go ahead and hit next on the bottom. Please select your desired power mods. Disable power saver notification. Keep NFC on screen while off. Wake up phone. I do want that. Lower auto brightness. Sure, go ahead and save some battery. Um, I don't really use NFC that much. So please select your desired framework animation. Let's see. I kind of want to go with the stock AOSP because I just like the look of it. If you guys never ran a stock ROM, say CM, they're pretty nice. Please select, sure. <laughs> Please select your desired font. I just go with Roboto. Please select your desired launcher mod. So much. He wasn't joking when he said that he wanted to go ahead and like allow you to fully customize his ROM. So blink feed toggle. I do want that. Um, I don't really use. I use Nova Launcher. So four by five home screen. I guess four by five home screen. A five by six app drawer. But I mean, I guess, because if you do the 4x5 home screen, like if you add the widgets, they o overlap on the side. But I do want the 5x6 app drawer, but I'm just going to go ahead and keep the 4x4. Because like I said, I don't really use the stock launcher, but if you, if you do the 4x5, things start to overlap. Like the spacing isn't set out, you know, correct. Not sure why, because on the HTC One, if you do the 4x5, which is 4 and then 5 down, like the spacing is actually correct and I don't know why it's not so please select your desired oom um settings what the heck is oom um? so I'm gonna go ahead and let's see let the kernel handle itself I kinda wanna do that multitasking ultimate multitasking scream so I think I wanna do balance so we'll go, we'll go ahead and do medium and we're gonna go ahead and install the ROM with all of our custom mods the reason I'm making this install video is because a lot of you guys want to see how to install like, because there are a lot of people that just starting out modding their phone and they, they like a visual aid. When I first, I got a Droid Incredible. That was my first phone that I started to actually mess with and I didn't know how to install the ROM. So I looked on YouTube and I had seen someone made a video on installing a ROM. Well, th I didn't know that you needed a custom recovery. So that's why I showed you guys you can use Goo Manager to install that custom recovery before. But I didn't know you needed that and I was trying to install it in the stock recovery and it kept failing. So I went ahead and commented the dude never wrote me back, of course, but sure. Um <laughs> Alright, I'm sorry, I'll just go ahead and skip that. But I mean, like you guys some of you need like a visual aid, because if someone just writes it down on paper, I mean sure you can go ahead and just read it. But if you're like me, you like to see the person actually doing it. Like in a video review, you're not just, if you review a ROM, you're not just going to write it on paper saying, hey, this does this and this does that. Like the person actually wants to see what it's doing. So I figured I would let you guys know about that. Um, it's go ahead and it, it's installing all the custom weather animations and stuff like that. But I will be posting a leap load to this ROM, of course. Um, make sure you back up your apps. I use titanium backup, just do the batch backup all, that's what I do. But I'm going to go ahead and it's going to be rebooting soon. Got all those mods that we installed. I kind of want to pause this, but it's going to be doing its thing. So actually, I think I'm going to go ahead and pause it. And nope, actually, it's doing, it's, it's almost done, 97%. But I just wanted to show you guys this video, like I said, on Monday, because I have all weekend to work on it, I'm going to be doing, you know, my review, because three days, you know, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, four, I guess, not really, because today is, it's one o'clock, but, but that is enough time to test the battery, because I know battery life is important to me, like, I have, I need my phone to get me through a day, and I'm pretty sure most of you guys do as well, so, on the previous 3.0.5, the battery life, it was okay, but even Newt himself said that they had a, the kernel, it was, you know, draining the battery really fast. So I recommend you guys reading through the thread a little bit to see a few of the bugs, but yeah, like I said, I'm going to be having my 
full review up Monday so that you guys, if you want to wait, I will have, I will tell you guys all the bugs that there are, say, you know, I don't know, say that Bluetooth doesn't work or something like that. I will be able to actually let you guys know in my full review other than just, you know, you guys just watching my install video and not knowing. But if you guys want to know a few of the threads that people post, they post them because they don't wipe the system and, you know, they don't format the data and stuff like that. They just install over top of the old ROM. And even New himself said that you need to clean and install this ROM because he changed so much. So there's that. This ROM is also available for GSM users. If you were if you use this phone on anybody but Verizon, you are considered a GSM user. Just throwing that out there. So you want to go ahead and install the GSM ROM, which is also linked in the thread. He has a GSM ROM and a Verizon. Of course, I'm using the Verizon ROM. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm using the Verizon ROM. But this phone should be booting up. I'll be back once the phone boots up and it goes through the, you know, like the startup and I put my Wi-Fi in and everything like that. So I'll be right back. Alright guys, so I'm back and the first issue I found is that this ROM will not connect to 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi. I'm not sure why, but you see I put in my password for your iPhone sucks. And if I go to connect, it just, it doesn't. It says connecting and then it just doesn't. So I have, I pulled out my other router that I'm hooking to the router, this one, and I'm going to put it on, you know, the other band. And so there's that. Before GLT is working perfectly fine. No issues there. We got into about phone software. And you see right there, Android 4.2.2 with HTC Sense 5. So that's basically it, guys. Um, I don't want to check out that. All right. So we don't get the super camera. All right, so no super camera. <laughs> Maybe there's a trick to get it working. Maybe you had to fix permissions in recovery or something like that. But I will let you guys know in the full review. Um, allow? Okay, go away. But like I said, I hope you guys like this video. For those that really want a visual aid, this is just an install video and a quick look at Sense 5. And it's thundering outside. It's about to pour, so my internet's about to go off anyways. But... I really wanted to get this video out there to you guys. I hope you like it, and I will see you guys in the next video.